So today we'll be talking about Leo Sun in the 10th house. And um, I definitely recommend watching the Leo Sun general meaning video that I made um, for all houses because I cover what Leo uh, Sun means on a personality level as well as other specific things. But in this video, we'll be talking about what it means in the 10th house. So the 10th house is the house of public image, career, and uh, social status, as well as like our position in life, which is what um, the career meaning is. And it's just what we're known for. And it's like the position that we play. So in this case, uh, having Leo Sun in the 10th house indicates being known for your character or being known for your personality or uh, being known for your ego. Also, it could be about being publicly seen for your creativity or uh, the things that you put out in the world uh, creatively. So like your creations. Um, the sun is our constant energy that we put out and it's it's like our personality but it's also the way that we make things happen in life it's the way we will things into existence um it's kind of like uh when we have new moons and those are good times for manifestation um the reason why is because the the moon is conjunct to the sun and so it is a good time to take action and start something um, new, especially. Uh, and the reason why is because the conjunction with the sun indicates, you know, this is a time that we can put energy into a new creation. Um, and that's what the sun represents on a constant basis. In the, in the natal chart, it represents a way that we take action consistently. Um, and it's like the spot in our chart where there's always um, focus or investment. So in this case, there is a constant investment in your career or your position. So you're somebody that constantly wants to rank up in life and uh, acquire more and more power over the public or over your audience. Um, you want to have like a captivating image or you want to just have as much control over your own career as possible. The reason why is because Leo is the eighth sign from Capricorn. Um, and the 10th house is the house of Capricorn. And so what this shows is there's an influence of eight and eight is about power transformation. Um, and it's about accumulating wealth as well. So people with Leo sun in the 10th house, uh, they have a desire to increase their power in the, in the world and increase their impact. Um, and they, um, a lot of times they go through transformations in their position as well as like massive transformation to their confidence, to their character, to their ego, because their character is based on their success um, because Leo is our character and our confidence. And the 10th house is the reputation we build over time. And the 10th house usually develops very slowly. It's a it's a earth house, cardinal earth. It's a constant process. So. As these people continue to put energy into their career, um, they go through moments where they have great increases in their position. And then this changes their character as well. This changes their confidence and so on. So with Leo being the sign of entertainment and it being in the 10th house, this uh, placement is about keeping people emotionally hooked um, on what your career provides. Um a lot of times this can be about being an entertainer, but it can also just be about giving value through your career or through your social media or through your business um, and keeping the audience hooked on the product, um, even if you're not the one that wants to be seen. But with the sun here, this does indicate um, for the most part, the people with this placement, they want to be the face of the career. They don't want to just have a business that sells products. Like they want to somehow be the character or the uh, CEO or like the face of it, if that makes any sense. Um, 
Displacement, I notice, creates a lot of politicians and um, like presidents. I believe uh, even that there is emperors that have this uh, placement and kings and queens because Leo is the king um, and, and the queen archetype. And when it's in the 10th house of social image, this indicates people that um, have the reputation of being a powerful figure. So um, when the sun is here, this indicates somebody that wants to be like a king or queen of their industry. Sun in Leo usually creates a very competitive nature and somebody that wants to be first, first place, and somebody that wants to be recognized for being first. So unlike Aries, Sun, where the people just want to do things alone so they can get ahead and so they can accomplish things more efficiently, um, sun, in, sun in Leo wants to do things and be recognized for being number one. So um, that is the type of position you want in your career. Like you want to be the top person. And um, unfortunately or fortunately, whatever, however you perceive it, this, uh, this placement, Sun and Leo creates competition wherever it's at. So in this case, it's in the 10th house of career. So uh, what you may experience throughout your life is you may experience a lot of like competition and competitive moments in your career. And maybe you never even incite them or you never solicit them, but they just happen. Like there's a lot of competitiveness um, that people with Sun in the 10th house and Leo experience. Um, so, you know, the career can definitely revolve around entertainment, media, and also advertising and other forms of creative like illusions, uh, movies, video clips, um, so social media uh, pictures and videos and stuff that make you appear like a king or queen of your field, um, presenting yourself in an idealistic way. Um, so generally speaking, you could also be known for your personality, like I said. Um, and generally speaking, how to summarize this placement is that this is somebody that uses attention and uses the emotions of others and the psychology of others. And they come up with ideas of how to present things in a credible way, but also like a, a, a addictive way or in like a catchy way. So, um, that is some of the meanings of Leo Sun in the 10th house. Um, generally, they can be known for their active position of power. They can also be known for drama or negativity that they're actively partake in. There's a lot of like serial killers that um, and murders that have Sun in, in the 10th house in Leo. But they also have like a bunch of negative planets conjunct the sun. So sun conjunct Pluto in the 10th house in Leo. This is somebody that's known for, do for doing dramatic negative things or like shocking things that captures everybody's attention. And they go like viral or they go like they become famous. So um, also the 10th ten house in Leo is the natural placement for Scorpio risings. Scorpio rising is the sign of the depths and the negative side of life and struggle and conflict and, and drama. So that's why this is a prime placement for being known for drama or like negativity, because uh, the sun being in this house indicates that you constantly um, are publicly seen for what your life is going through. Like you, you constantly put out your conflicts and drama um, or you're, you're, you're doing things that get seen um by the public so anyways um there also you could be known for publicized competitive situations so this is why it creates presidents um politicians because these are people that com compete pu uh publicly on the world stage and they complete uh compete publicly on the media and on television and on the news and and so all these things are publicized, but they're they're competing for the the support of the public, and that's kind of how Leo in the tenth house can play out. Um, but generally speaking, they just want to be in a position of number one in some way, or they want to be royalty in some way 
of their field, but they want to do it for the sake of genuine power or influence. They don't just want to be a poster child. They don't want to be a face of something. They actually want a position that carries weight in the world and where they can command people and um, sway the emotions of the public. Um, So anyways, I hope that was informative and that you saw yourself in some way. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like um, on this video and subscribe to this channel. And um, other than that, for NATO chart readings and inquiries, um, if you have any questions and you would like me to give my insight as well as uh, look into the astrology, then uh, the link for that is in the description. And I will see you guys sometime soon in another video.